Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil and this is part of React and Node.js series. We will learn that how we can verify JWT authentication token. So before starting with that video, let's take a look of uh, previous two videos. So firstly, we generated the JWT token in the Node.js and then we handled it with the uh, React.js, right? And now we want to verify this token in the uh, node.js so why we need to verify it so let's first understand that uh, thing so as you know let's say we generated the token from login or from the registration api right so when we will generate it after that we want to verify that user with the another api so let's say we want to verify the user with the add product or product list and all right so what we will do we will send this token along with the uh, our next API right so let's say with the add product or uh, with the products and we will when user send this token with the API in a backend we will check that we will verify that API this person is authenticated this token is real is this is changed or this is expired or something right so let's see that how we can do that so first of all, we will send uh, this token from the postman. Then we will create a middleware to verify the token. We will write some code to verify the token and send the response according to the token. Maybe token is not provided. Maybe token is incorrect or maybe token is fine. So we'll send response according to that. This is my Instagram account. If you want to follow me there and please subscribe my channel also. So now let's start with the first point and send token with the postman. So what I'm going to do, so uh, let's say with the login, I generated a uh, one authentication token, right? And I want to send it with any API. So let's say I want to send it with the search API. So currently we can see that we have some result in our API. That's fine. So let's say I you can choose any key, but most of the people, basic developers basically use the authentication key. And here we can send that any kind of token. For example, I just send here A, B, C or something. Check. Fine. So now how we can get this token or authentication header inside our project. So what I'm going to do here, first of all, I'm creating a middleware. So let's say my middleware name is verify token. Right. And uh, if we are making a middleware, we must have to pass three parameters request and response and third one is next. So what next will do that? So every, if everything is fine, then it will redirect our request to the any other route where we want to send this request, right? So first of all, let's take a console here. Dot one and let's print here token so where we can get this token inside the request dot headers right here we will find our old uh, header so let's say we want to get the authentication then uh, we can simply use here to authentication key not complete one authentication is perfectly fine for it and we can use here small a it's not required to send a capital a right so now let's see uh will it work fine or not and we don't need this dot uh, after header so let's say i'm just uh, sending this to that token from here and if i'm just checking with our request it should be there but uh, Okay, so actually we have to register this web token first, right? So I'm just registering it with our search API like this. So we have to send it like a second token. And now if I'm sending it from here again, and we can see that, uh, let's check it again. Maybe page was not refreshed. We are getting it undefined, right? So why we are getting undefined? Uh, let's verify the spelling first. Actually, this is a headers, not header. Now it should work fine. And now, oh my God, seriously. Okay, guys, uh, just give me a moment so that I can identify the what's what the issue with that. 
let me let me just try to put it again with the same key maybe last time i just missed missed that and now let's try to send it again check the uh, console and here we can see that we are getting here abc let's try with the another name abc xyz or something and cancel we can cancel this request and we can send it again and here we can see that we are getting the latest header here that's okay but with that way you can see that request is not getting completed we are just getting here loader because to complete it we have we must have to pass here next function right so that uh, our middleware can just go with this complete uh, request and now if i'm just cancelling this request trying again okay i guess uh, there is some issue with the npm start so i just need to restart it and now it should work fine so now we can see that this is uh, completely giving the perfect result so now what we can do here we can just get this token and verify here right and token should be uh, correct so i am uh, adding here correct one token so this is correct one token and we can send it here so even if you want to add here some prefix then you can also do that there is a no issue with that so let's say i am adding here bearer so bearer token with a space i am adding that one and here we can see that we are getting this token so we are just adding this uh, key uh, for uh, we can say that uh, uh, to identify that that this is actually the token if you want to just uh, remove it then still it will work fine there is no issue so i am just taking it this token inside any uh, literal so let's say my literal name is token great so if i am check that if i am getting this token perfectly fine that's okay else if there is some issue then i can just uh, send here response dot send and i can say that please provide a token right and if we have a token then we have to just remove the bearer from there so what we can do for that uh so uh, 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 let's uh, just take a token again and we can split this token token dot split and we can split it by the space right so let me just uh, try to add here console dot one and we can so that we can check that what we are getting inside the token right so let's try to send it again and uh, this is not splitted let's try again now we can see that this is splitted there is a two element in our that array first one is a bearer and second one is our real token so i am i just want to use here second one that means for, uh, you can see that the second element that position will be one because Array is always start with the zero. So now we can what we can do here we can simply check that uh, we can verify this token now. So how we can verify? So just simply use here JWT dot verify. And uh, what is JWT? I'm sure that you just remember our last video. This is uh, required from the jwt web token this is official package of jwt and we have the key also right and uh, here we what we will do here first of all we will provide the token and to verify it we also need to provide uh, jwt key and again i want to just check the spelling this is fine there is no issue and now 
after that it have the one more parameter which is a callback function and what we can do it here we can simply provide here error and there's a two parameter you can provide here error and success or any name to them uh, they'll work fine so if we got any error then again we can send a response and say that let's uh, please provide a valid token right else if everything is fine we can redirect it to the uh, normal routing function of the function and uh, it should work fine so now if i'm just sending it here and i guess i just need to restart the server again so i don't know why it have problem with that token i i have to start the server several time so this is working fine we can see that so let's say i am just removing this valid authentication then it will say that uh, what it will say it will say nothing <laughs> okay because uh, we did not provide any response here right that's why so what i can do here i can just provide a please provide a token let me just send it again and please provide a token here right so even for better betterment we can change here uh, something in that response like uh, status should be changed it should not be 200 200 means everything is okay and second thing is we can change here a key result we can add this result and uh, we can add a status also so let's say i am sending a status is 403 that means token is not provided and same thing we can do with the if we have uh, invalid token then we can provide here 401 and please provide a valid token so now let's see what's going on this is working fine please provide a valid token if i am just sending this and let's say i just uh, uh, change this in this uh, token right something in that token it will say that please provide a valid token right uh, even i need to save it first then it will work fine unauthorized if there is a no token then it will say that 403 forbidden and if i will provide here correct token then it will give the result that's great so let's say now i am just uh, applying that middleware with 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 let's say add product right registration login with the add product so firstly it should be give me the uh, error for please provide token right so let's say if i'm just providing here token authentication i'm taking this token from um, login right and uh, let me just change this project product uh, nokia 1300 max and price is also changed let's say 1200 dollar now you can see that it will give the it give it is saying that please provide a valid token right because we have to add here bearer so let me add here right and now this is working fine right so even we can use this token with the any other apis also like uh, you have to send the token with the same way with the products or uh, uh, you can see that with delete products with uh, find product with id or uh, update product update a single product why there is a two you are with the same way add product add product both are same not sure maybe i just uh, 
uh, it's something here so I can remove one of them and uh, this is also applied already applied on the search so now with the every API we must have to send this token and next video I will show you that how we can send the token from react.js to API so that we can verify this token if you still have any kind of query you can ask me in the comment box and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video thank you so much